Whether they're performing Elvis rock and roll or a Mozart minuet, many major cities, including Sioux Falls, have a thriving music scene that includes a symphony orchestra. In fact, there are over 1,800 orchestras in the U.S. alone. Our next guest has taken up the baton for the New York Philharmonic, the Philadelphia Orchestra, the Cleveland Orchestra, the Chicago Symphony, the St. Louis Symphony, and the Minnesota Orchestra. And that's just here in the U.S. Closer to home, maestro Del De Delta David Geyer has taken up the baton for the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra for the past 15 years. He's joining us today to give us a preview of this weekend's performances at the Washington Pavilion. The theme is Pictures at an Exhibition, and it's a chance for the South Dakota Symphony to bring paintings to life through music. Welcome. You've done it all. <laughs> Not quite. I'm still, I'm still on a mission. Yes, I love that. But before we get into this performance, I just want to talk about the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra and really understanding this. Well, so the SDSO has really striven over the last several years to connect deeper to the community. Rather than being just another entertainment option, every single program that we do has deep ties to the communities, in, in, to, to the Sioux Falls and the state of South Dakota in unique ways. So why? Why do that? Why decide to bring the community into it? Well, it's, it's addressing the issue of relevance of a symphony orchestra, right? I mean, a lot, not a lot of people are choosing to listen to symphonic music, for instance, yet these orchestras are a vital part of, the, of every community and a, sort of a pinnacle of art form within the community. And so how do we demonstrate that relevance? To the community. It's by collaboration with other arts organizations, but also educational institutions and uh, other aspects of the community. Yeah, so really you're re redefining what an orchestra is. Exactly. So let's yeah. take a look now and listen to what we're going to see at this weekend's event, Pictures at an Exhibition. So let's just, let's just listen first and then we'll start to explain a little Excellent. more. Obviously beautiful to listen to, mm -hmm. but it really does add something looking at this while we listen. So how did you decide to tie this in? Well, so this piece of music, Pictures and Exhibition, was a composer paying tribute to a friend of his who's an artist. And he's creating these little miniature pieces of music to go with several paintings. So we'll have, actually, during this concert, the art on the screen above the orchestra with the music that will be in the, these images that you're seeing will be manipulated in real time. Wow. I mean, just it goes with the music right now. Absolutely. We're it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. So, when it comes to listening to orchestra music, I mean, it can be different. So, for someone who has never attended one of the, these events, mm -hmm. what can they expect? Well, I mean, this is a unique event. I mean, it's probably the most user-friendly event that we have going on this season in the, in the sense that every, every piece on the concert has a visual component to it. Okay. I mean, one of the pieces we have a Joe Schaefer, who's the artist in residence at Rayfield's, creating a piece of art simultaneously with the music. In 15 minutes, he's going to fill a canvas six feet high by 15 feet long. Wow. Right on stage in front of the orchestra. So this is going to be a pretty dynamic performance. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Right. <laughs> so let's go through the details for people who want to attend. Give us the dates, times, things we need to know. Yeah. Here we go. So 7.30 Saturday, we also have a performance on Sunday at 2.30, and tickets start at just $10. And you can get these at the Washington Pavilion box office. Yes. Okay. And this is for everyone, though. You have a crescendo program. Can you explain that? It, the, our crescendo program has three elements. One is if you've never been to a South Dakota Symphony performance, your first ticket is free to any classical performance we do. So please come. Uh, so the second element is 19 to 35. Always come for $10 a ticket to any classical performance. And the third component is that children 18 and under are free to classical programs with the purchase of an adult ticket. Okay. And it says ages 9 to 35, so that right there shows us that this is for everyone to come and enjoy. Yeah, well, accessibility is a big aspect of what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. So let's talk about Sunday night. You have a family event coming up. Right. And so this is all the tickets are $10. Children are all free. 
and it will just be this piece, pictures and exhibition, so maybe an hour's worth, and there will be teaching involved, some talking from the stage, along with the visuals. So it's, again, it's, it's, uh, it's user-friendly, a great point of access, particularly for children to come into this world of classical music. And then on Monday, we're going to fill the hall three times over with 5,000 third graders from all over Sioux Falls and the surrounding region coming to this program and, and having their first experience with a symphony orchestra. So getting kids involved at a young age is really important to you. Why is that? Why is educating kids, letting them listen to this, so important for them? Well, you think, you think about the iconic uh, pieces of art that we come in contact with, like every 10th grader in Sioux Falls reads Romeo and Juliet. You know, like this is very important to have a broader education. The same thing with the, what we call classical music is 500 years worth of music from cultures all over the world. And it's very important that people be conversant with this art form. Right. And throughout the season, you're going to be coming back and meeting with us to share about upcoming events, the different music that the orchestra is working on. So let's just kind of talk about what we can expect in the future. Well, you'll see demonstrated uh, in, in the times we get together again how each program is uniquely connected to the community. For instance, in January, we have a program that, uh, that connects with the Chinese Association. Here, Brookings, Vermilion, the Confucius Institute in, uh, uh, at Northern State. So we have a Chinese composer. We have the Sioux Falls Lion Dance Team that'll be on stage with the, you know, dancing with the lion costumes and all of that. So, you know, it, it's a whole other focus of engagement. Um, at the end of the season, we do Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, but uh, which the message of that is a universal brotherhood of man. But the first part of that program is all these different cultures that are Sioux Falls, Arab, uh, South Asian, uh, Lakota, and Mexican. There'll be music from all of those different cultures and a demonstration of universal brotherhood of man, but also who we are as Sioux Falls community. Yeah. This is what it means to be an orchestra in the 21st century, I wow. think. Wow, I love that. Let's go through now details. If someone is interested in getting season tickets, here is the information. We have the website. We'll also have a link to this online at Kelloland Living on our page. So anyone interested, just head over there and we'll have that today after the show. So thank you so much for joining me today and giving us all of the details. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me.